Well, uh, just as we've come to the final question, and I'm looking in your background there, I see a Mike Tyson poster. Uh, I see another boxing poster, but I can't make out who it is. Uh, it's a Tyson autograph. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll take it down, actually. <clears throat> DX is own Mike Tyson. Uh, I'm, so the final question I got for you is like I'm a huge boxer, Mark. That's that's my main sport. I can't get enough of it. And at the time, there's all this talk about this fight's going to happen, this fight's going to happen. But Eddie Hearn was doing an interview about just seven hours ago where he said AJ versus Tyson Fury is going to happen in 2021. He said the rematch likely will be held off until... 22, but they definitely will fight next year. So, a uh, question I ask everybody is, what's your prediction for Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua? Um, I just actually noticed, looking at the TV, uh, looking at the screen, I actually have a Tyson t-shirt on too. I didn't even realise I had that on this walking area, Tiger. Um, but um, my prediction for that is very difficult to see AJ winning that fight. Um, if he tries to to come in and, and to come in close and to close the distance, like he has shown that he hasn't necessarily got the the best chin. It took a, a you know the Ruiz fight to find it out. Before that, AJ had this completely untouchable reputation where um, where he had where he had where he was unbeaten. It didn't look like there was anybody that could that could beat him. He could transition between. Um, knocking you out to being able to box because he was an Olympic boxer. Although, obviously, he struggled with, with Klitschko at Klitschko's age. He was giving a pass for that. that. That's the thing. Like, media and observers will cover things in certain ways. If the narrative is that AJ is the, you know, the next best thing, they'll very much look past the difficulties that he had with Klitschko and just say that they watched a great fight. And um, he took it at a very young age. Like, he, he stepped up much sooner than people expected, and he managed to beat Klitschko. That was the narrative until he came up against Ruiz. The Ruiz fight has caused a, a lot of questions, and the way that he went and won that Ruiz fight in a rematch where he went back to his Olympic style, that's not going to work with a boxer like Tyson Fury, who, had he chose to pursue the path of the Olympics, possibly could have won a gold medal himself because he's the best um, boxer that we've had at that weight probably since Ali. Um, so that that's going to be the problem. I mean, in the heavyweight division, anything can happen. And if AJ does go gung-ho and tries to shorten the fight and realise that he needs to win the fight, um, he has one way to win the fight, which is to land bombs and hope that he can get through and penetrate Fury's defence before Fury can land the, um, the shot. I just don't think that's going to happen. I think boxing has become very financially orientated. And we saw the difference between Wilder 1 and Wilder Wilder 1 and Wilder 2 for Tyson Fury in terms of the emphatic manner of the victory makes it very difficult for there to create an appetite for a rematch. AJ and Fury have set up two fights and I very much think that fight 1 is going to be a points version of the fight where they they where they don't take the risks and they make sure that they secure fight 2 which will see Fury for me winning on points. And then when fight two comes around, uh, then we may see AJ realize that, look, I, could, I didn't win the boxing match. Um, I, oh, he is a good boxer. He, he may be able to pick up three or four rounds. So I don't think an, an eight-four deficit on the scorecards, eight rounds to four, isn't a massive loss in boxing. I think that people can excuse that. And, and AJ fans will be saying, oh, but he won. I thought he won round five or I thought AJ won round 10 and the judges. And you see what I mean? There's, 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 there's a great, there are still great areas there on an eight, four kind of fight on the cards in the second fight. Once AJ realizes that he lost the boxing match already, that's when we'll get the, the knockout risk and we'll get AJ coming forward a lot more and trying to, and realizing that the only way he's, he wins the fight against Tyson Fury is to use his um, extra power and to try and land those big shots. And we'll probably see AJ coming to that fight heavier than he did for the first fight. I think AJ will continue to be lean as he was for Ruiz and come into that fight and try and win it on points and fail. 
Whereas fight number two, I think he's going to come in heavier and try and knock Fury out. So I think that's how I see the two fights going. Um, but inevitably, I lean Fury for, for both, to be honest. 